Are you tired of losing deals? Because when you ask questions, your surface level questions, your prospects emotionally shut down, they stay surface level with you, they don't open up, and then at the end they say, I wanna keep looking around, I wanna do more research, I wanna think it over. Well, there's a reason why you're doing that. Now today I'm gonna to show you, I'm gonna give you access to five what are called NEPQ, that stands for Neuro Emotional Persuasion Probing Questions that are gonna actually get your prospect to open up and go below the surface that's where the sale is made. So here we go. First of all, go down to the bottom of this video, hit the subscribe button. That's probably important for you. Hit the subscribe button and to the right of that, or maybe the left, I don't know, somewhere in there, there's like a little bell. That's your notifications button. Hit the notifications button as well so you get notified by YouTube every time I post a new training video, which I typically do two to four times a week. All right, now first of all, what we're gonna do, and I'm gonna show you how to set this up, it's very important. When the prospect tells you a problem, they're like, oh, I'm having this issue, I'm having this challenge, I'm having this problem, you're gonna immediately ask them, okay, and how, how long has that been going on for? Now, what type of tone did I just use there? It's more of a curious tone, okay? Your tone is how your prospect interprets why you're asking every question or anything you say. Your tone is how they interpret the meaning behind each question. Oh, how, how long has that been going on for? See, that's a curious tone. Then they tell you, let's say they said for six months. Okay, so that's been going on for six months. Has that, has that had an impact on you? Now, what tone was that? A concern tone. Why would this probing question have to be asked in a concern tone? Because prospects, that's how they interpret the question. So if you act in a concern tone, they tend to open up more because they feel like you're concern for them, their situation. Oh my gosh, that builds trust, right? If they feel like you don't care and you're just asking it as like a something to use against them because your tone's off, then they shut down. Oh, it's not that bad. Has that, has that had an impact on you? Now, they're going to be like, oh my gosh. You're well, in what way though? You quickly say, well, in what way though? You got to be quick with that. Well, in what way though? Oh, it's doing this, it's doing that. Now, this is important. I want to give you, I want to warn you. You can't ask these probing questions in the first two minutes of a sales conversation. Do you know why? Because you don't have enough trust or credibility that early in a conversation most of the time, okay? Now, halfway through the conversation, when you've built more trust, when you've built more authority, that's when it's appropriate to probe like this. So if they tell you a problem early on, let's say in the first minute, they just get on there and spill the beans, whether you're in person on the phone or in Zoom, hold that back, maybe five, 10 minutes and say, now, hey, John, a minute ago, you'd mentioned that you're having X, Y, Z problem. How long has that been going on for? See, I hold it back to then use it once I built more trust and credibility halfway through that conversation. How long has that been going on for? Oh, for the past five years? So that going on the past five years, has that, has that had an impact on you? Oh, you have no, well, in what way though? Now, here's another way I could do this. I could ask them how long that's been going on. They tell me, let's say two years, and then I lean in and I say this, and I ask this question. So what's that doing to you? Or I could just lean in. They could tell me a problem, I could lean in. Now, this can't be in the beginning, more into the middle to the end when you have more trust, and you lean in and say, What's that, what's that doing to you? Now, notice that's a concerned tone, okay? I lean and say, so that's been going on for the past five years. What's it, what's it doing to you? Okay, oh my gosh, it's causing me. Now, here's some other examples. What bothers you the most about that? Or how tough a position did that put you in? I've been feeling pressure at work, blah, blah, blah. Can you give me some specific examples so I have more understanding? Oh, yes, this happened, blah, blah, blah. How tough a position did that put you in when that happened? Oh, you have no idea. Well, in what way, though? See what I just did there? If they, need, if they didn't expand on this question, I simply say, well, in what way did it do that to you? Well, in what way, though? Okay? All right, let me give you a couple other examples of any key pro pro probing questions. Now, it doesn't have to be a probing question necessarily. Sometimes it could be what's called a probing statement. These are NEPQ probing statements. Now, if you're not familiar with our methodology, NEPQ, Neuro Emotional Persuasion Questioning, works with human behavior rather than works against it. So we're showing you how to get your prospects to do all the work, how to get your prospects to sell themselves, how to get your prospects to overcome their objections, and how to get your prospects to pull you in 
Whereas you might have been taught by most sales training that you have to do all the work, that you have to do all the selling, that you have to do all the persuading, that you've got to do the convincing, that you've got to put pressure on them, that you've got to overcome the objections, that you've got to push and pressure. Well, you can keep doing that if you want to, but it's gotten you to the income you're at now. How are you going to go to two, three, five times higher? You want to work with human behavior rather than work against it. Much easier to get the prospect to do other. Why do you want to do all the work? It's hard. Don't do all the work. Have them do all the work. You'll make way more money than you are now. Okay, so probing statements. Now, after I ask what's called an NEPQ consequence question, here's a generic example. I might say, what are the consequences if you don't do anything about this? Or I say, uh, so what happens if you don't do anything about this and X, Y, Z happens? Oh, no, no, we really need to do something. Then I might say, okay, so time to, time to make a change possibly. Now, why would I say possibly there? Why would I say, okay, so it's time for you to make a change? Well, I didn't say we're ready yet. But by just me putting this neutral word at the end, no one will ever say, no, it's not time. Okay, so time to, time to make a change possibly. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You always have that every time. Or you can say, if, if they even expand further on this consequence question and open up, you can say, okay, so it's important for you to do something then. Oh yeah, for sure. Okay, so it's important for you to do something then. Or, okay, so time to, time to make a change possibly. Now notice, had some verbal pausing in there. I slowed the question down. When you slow the question down and have verbal pausing at key points here, okay, so time to, time to make a change possibly. I'm focusing on change possibly. That's what I'm emphasizing when I do that verbal pause right before that. When you verbal pause and slow down a question, it causes your prospect's brain psychologically to think deeper about what you just asked. Otherwise, it's just a knee-jerk question in one ear, out the other. They don't even, they just give you vague surface level answers. All right, let's move on. I'm going to give you one more thing here today. Now, another thing that you can do to probe, to get your prospects to relive it. See, what probing questions do is they get your prospect to relive their pain. Pain is essential if you want to drive what in a human being, if you want to drive change. Pain is the most powerful emotion in a human being's brain, in the way they feel everything about them that drives change. If you can't get the prospect to feel pain, there is no change. And if there's no change, there's no sale. Pain drives change, change drives a sale. If you can't get them any pain, or expanding that pain, there is no sale. Period. And if you can't sell to them because you can't open them up emotionally where they relive the pain of what the problems are doing to them, you're going to struggle a lot. And worse, your prospect doesn't get the problem solved. They stay in the status quo and they never get what they want. And whose responsibility is that? Ours as the salesperson, right? So anytime they tell you an emotional road, oh, I've just been feeling stressed from this, or oh, I'm just frustrated that we haven't been able to solve this, or I'm just annoyed that my boss keeps doing this, or I'm just feeling so much tension from the pressure of this job, or I'm feeling a lot of pressure from my superiors, or I'm just worried that it hasn't worked, you know, that this isn't going to work out, or I'm just concerned that, you know, we're never going to be able to get to $10 million a month in revenue, whatever, or I'm trying, I've been trying to do this. These are all what? Emotional words, okay? So you want to probe off that emotion. And an easy way to do that is just repeat back the emotional word. Just that one word, nothing else. Don't fluff it out. Okay, so you're feeling a lot of emotion. I think that's what you're saying. That's not going to do anything. But if I say stress, oh, Jeremy, I've been feeling so much stress. Like, hold on. Stress? Or I might just say stress. Yeah, what I mean by stress is, okay, Oh, I've been so frustrated by X, Y, Z. Frustrated? Yeah, I mean, when I've been, and then they expand. They say something about being annoyed. Annoyed? They say something about the tension they're feeling. Tension? Oh my gosh, yeah, you have no idea the tension it's causing me, and they expand and relive the pain. It doesn't matter. Any emotional word that I put on this board, plus a hundred other emotional words, any, especially this, trying. A lot of times when you're selling to people, like, yeah, I've been trying to solve this for a long time. Trying? Yeah, I've tried this, I've tried that. See how they expand just off that one word? Here's what I want you to do right when you watch this video. Go to any family member, uh, any relative, any friend, any business associate, and when you hear any emotional word, just repeat back the emotional word. Frustrated? Oh, I've been so uh, annoyed by this job change. Annoyed? Yeah, I mean, and they're going to expand. Do that, 
And then when you hear an emotional word from your prospect, repeat the emotional word and watch how your prospects expand the pain and what it's doing to them. All right. Now you want to start learning more about NEPQ because what I just gave you is very basic today. Make sure you hit the subscribe button right now and set on your settings the notification button so every time I do one of these videos, I do a lot of these per week, you can get notified. So make sure you subscribe right now because what I gave you today was very, very basic compared to what I train on. You're welcome. Join our free Facebook group. Go to www.salesrevolution.pro. We should have a link on here somewhere. Salesrevolution.pro. Right when you join the salesrevolution.pro Facebook group, because we've got thousands of entrepreneurs in there, thousands of salespeople like you, thousands of coaches, consultants, executives in there that want to sell more. Right when you join, check your DMs because we're going to message you. Some of my team is going to message you a free training called the NEPQ 101 mini course. It's going to give you a list of different questions and phrases you can use in any sales situation. That alone is going to help you sell more than what you're doing now. And we go live in the Facebook group about three to four times a week with different subject matter trainings, different Q and A's, different client interviews that will also help you sell more. Join the Facebook group salesrevolution.pro. See you there.